Hello, I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, making the top part of this gun uh, doing the high poly model and then we'll do a low poly model and bake it down. So the reason that I'm doing this is just because it's quite a tricky piece to make. There's some things that if you know how to do it, it should be okay. Um, there are some aspects of this where you can quite easily make mistakes that are maybe not obvious why why they've caused the problems that they have. There are some some bits on this that are quite difficult like this area here is just quite awkward to to model uh, with hard surface stuff and things like this bit that are cut out again not hard to deal with if you know how to deal with them but if you go about this the wrong way this is the kind of thing that will get you into a bit of a mess so just started with a uh, blank file in max and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the cylinder uh, for the top of this and also the bottom of this here so I'm just doing all of this bit and what I'm doing is I'm going to start this cylinder with plenty of sides and the reason I'm using plenty of sides is because otherwise cutting out this is going to be cause us a lot of issues putting this little site on the end is going to cause us a lot of issues. If I use plenty of sides then we won't run into any problems. So I'm using 128 sides for a cylinder and then I'm just going to kind of shape this out to the right length. Okay so I'll collapse that to an editable poly and just make sure that I've got it set at zero. Now chop off the top and the bottom and then I'm going to pull these bits down like this and bring them in a bit. I'll delete those two edges. So th this all this bit is, is quite um, it's quite straightforward I think. I'm just going to bring those edges down and then we can just bridge these together here. And line that Okay, so I'll go to my top view now and just get rid of half of the polys on here so that I can use my symmetry modifier later. So that's that first bit of the shape. I also just need to pull these down a bit. Like that. And I need to flatten this off at the top. Like that. Okay, so that's the basic, the sort of basic shape of this piece. Um, let me just change the color of this. Okay, so the, the, the piece, the bit on this that's gonna be trickiest is, is this area here. It's just an awkward shape because there's lots of, there's lots of kind of curves going into, into each other. Um, to make that piece, I'm going to just add a couple of loops here and about here, and one here. Okay, so the the this bit is going to loop around like this. So um, let's target weld those and that one down there. Get rid of that now. Okay, so this is that this is that shape now starting to form. We obviously need a lot more uh, detail in this. If I was to, if I was to turbo smooth this now, then it's gonna make a real mess of all of this geometry. So we need to think about how we're gonna 
start putting in control loops to stop that from happening. So what I'm gonna do is I, I'll just get rid of that for now and then I'll put a couple of control loops in either side here. Well, in fact, no, before I do that, I'll just put in one in that area and then we'll create that curve there. And now I'll put these in either side. And then I need to weld this back up across there. And this needs to come in a bit. In fact, that looks as though it's in the right place. Uh, it needs to go down. So just to get these all in the right, let's make sure these are on the right uh, the right place in Z. I'm just gonna take this one that I know is in the right place and I'll copy the number in there and paste it into these. So I know that I've got those on a nice clean line. Okay, next let's make a curve that goes through this bit. So let's put a swift loop in there. And I'm just gonna shape this by eye, really. Okay, so I'm starting to create that curve in there. Now I'm going to need a swift loop here. And I'm gonna need one there, and I'm gonna need one there as well. Okay, so I need a loop down this side as well. So I wanna control that edge. So I need a, a swift loop on either side. So let's put one in here and same thing here as well. This is where I need to make sure that I'm not making too much of a mess with my geometry. So let's weld these ones together. And then I can delete this. So now I've kept all of this in, just find that vert. Kept all of this in quads now, so uh, or at least this part of it in quads, so that that's a quad now. One, two, three, four sided shape. And let's just maybe move this away a bit, move these in a bit. Okay, and we should start to have the correct smoothing now where we've got we've got edges holding these in place. So if we have a look at this with the turbo smooth on, we're starting to get the result that we want. That's all looking pretty clean. Now I've got a bit of a light increase here that I need to try and fix. But apart from that, this is all okay around here. Um, so that's created that shape there. It needs a bit of tweaking. What I'm probably gonna have to do is just to, to create that shape, maybe just move these apart a little bit. Like that. Okay, so that'll start to smooth that out. And because, because of the nature of this, it's just one of those things where the modeling is gonna be not as perfectly in quads and as neat as you might want it to be. Um, but just try and make sure that your edge flow doesn't go completely out of control and that you keep some semblance of, of things in quads and uh, 
everything's reasonably neat and tidy in there. Okay, so that's that piece done. The other thing that I want to do is, if we have a look at this, it's got a slant on the back of it there. So I could create that just by taking these verts and changing the angle of them. But obviously that's going to kind of make this go narrower as I do that. So you can see like that. So we don't want to do that. Um, a good way of stopping that is just quickly to put in a uh, an edge loop like this. I've just put in another one there too so that I can keep everything straight after that point. And then just turn on edge constraint and then I can angle that a little bit like that and it won't narrow down. Okay, so that's that's the back, I'll turn off that. That's the back piece done. Now we'll add in the little site at the front. So all I need to do really is put some edges in for this. And just start to shape that how I want it. So something like this, I think. Maybe down a bit. And because we've got these edges in our cylinder, the nice thing about this having these edges in our cylinder is we don't need to put a control loop in there because we've already got it. If we did have to put a control loop in there, that would cause us problems by by causing us uh, start making the the cylinder pinch around where you added the extra loop. So I can add the extra ones through here to control the lighting where I want it, but I don't have to worry about them going the other way. So I just need another one. Let's just move these out first. So try and keep everything nice and nice and square. I'm keeping my edges quite loose so that I get a better bake on my normal map as well. Uh, so that's that front piece there. Something like that. Again, I'd probably spend a bit more time shaping this, but you get the idea. So maybe bring that back a bit. Up a little. Okay, that'll that'll do for now. I think it's something something kind of like that shape. So that's that piece done, which was nice and easy. And now we've just got this, this bit we're gonna cut out from the top as well. So again, I've got the edge loops in here, so this shouldn't be too hard to do. All I need to do is kind of work out where it's gonna sit and then start to shape it in a bit. So. Uh, let's move these around, create a nice curve. Same thing on this side. I uh, probably would have been better doing that by selecting kind of both of these and scaling them like that so that they went symmetrically. But this will do for now. So I'm going to go up here, around here, and then round a bit of a bend there. And so that's going to go here, and then round another. 
band there. Okay, so let's just straighten those up, keep everything nice and neat. And then I can delete the polys. I don't want. So that's the shape that I'm going to cut out. Again, I'm just going to straighten that up and keep it neat and tidy. And that'll pretty much be this done. So I'll take off my Turbo Smooth and put a Symmetry modifier on. And now let's actually just. Uh, so, yeah, before we put this in, again, we've got the control loops running through in this direction. So, we just need to put in control loops in this direction as well. And then just pull this down, maybe scale it in a little like that and we just need a couple more edge loops in fact we just need one there and there we go that's all nice and neat as well um, and nice clean geometry no weird lighting issues or anything like that um, so one thing that I do need is probably an, an edge in there. And that's it. So this definitely needs a bit more tweaking, um, but essentially that is that top piece, or most of the tricky bits about that top piece. Obviously I've not done the front, I've not done the back there. Uh, there's a bit here where the other part of the site sticks through. So you need to figure those out as well. But those are probably the trickiest bits done. Certainly that is the trickiest bit. This part was really, really easy because we made sure that we had plenty of sides going through our cylinder to start with. If we didn't have all these sides going through the cylinder, so if you started with an eight sided cylinder, for example, this would have been really quite challenging to get right. But with plenty of sides to start with, things like this are, are easy to do. So if you need to, if you have curved shapes and you, you need to put detail into them kind of running through the curve, then just make sure you start that curve with lots of edges so that you don't need to add any of these control edges like this one and this one that run through it. And if you do that, it should all be nice and easy. So that is it for this tutorial. Thanks.